everyone, it's Leonep. Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am working on this beautiful dresser I got for absolutely free from one of my friends and they contacted me and said, hey, would you like this dresser? Uh, we're just getting rid of it. And I said, absolutely, yes. It needs some work, uh, but overall it's in really good shape. I'm so excited to um, give it a new look and give it new life. So of course, first thing is first, I need to get it ready. So I'm removing the hardware. I will be reusing them. Um, they, I, it has all, what is it, 10 of them. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, giving, it, giving it a good clean. Um, my friends actually, looks like they cleaned up before they gave them to me because it's in really, really uh, good um, uh, condition. You know, just barely no, no dirt or dust on it. When I removed the handles, it did have some um, debris underneath, but no big deal. I cleaned it with some crud cutter and it's all set. All right, so I am using a new color to me. This is the Coastal Blue by Rust-Oleum. Now, I have used Rust-Oleum now for quite a while. I love their products and I use their chalk paint pretty much in every project I do. Uh, but I have never used the Coastal Blue, so I'm excited to give it a try. Um, I'm going to do two coats on this dresser. I'm going to paint um, the body of it, the drawers, of course, and then the edge on the top. But I'm not going to paint the actual top because I will be planking it. So um, again, just uh, doing two coats of it using my um, Totler and Tatum chalk paint brush which is one of my absolute favorite brushes i'm gonna have it linked down below in my amazon store so if you guys are interested in taking a look it's gonna be down in the description box One thing I am making sure of doing is um, to just kind of make sure that the stroke, the brush strokes are all going in the same direction. With chalk paint, you can do different brush strokes. I have learned that um, you can do brush strokes in every direction and it gives you a really cool texture, really cool finish. Um, I've also done where you do a first coat in one direction and then the second coat in another direction. Um, and it gives it almost like a fabric kind of um, finish to it. But in this case, I just want to give it a regular uh, what you call, uh, coat <laughs> or finish. And I'm just going to do just the one way. I went outside and I wanted to, like I said earlier, I want to reuse the handles. So I'm spray painting it with a uh, rust-oleum uh, spray paint in a golden tone um the wind was so <laughs> it was so windy this day that i had such a hard time getting the spray to go in the right direction but i made it happen all right so on to distressing i want the dresser to be a little bit of distressed very very little just on the side so literally i'm not even doing a lot of pressure a lot of paint's not coming off at all it's just on the very, very tiny edges to give it a little bit of dimension and just make those um, corners pop. So uh, I'll do that on the drawers and then I'll do the same thing on the edges of the body of the dresser.
So right here, I'm just giving you a closer look at what I'm talking about. Like I am barely even doing any pressure, hardly any paint or dust is coming off. It's basically just scratching off a little bit of the finish on the edges. And that is it on the distressing part. All right, I dusted everything, although not much dust came off, but I did dust it and make sure that everything was nice and clean. And now I am adding the top coat and sealing everything with Varathane uh, polyurethane and the crystal clear. And uh, I'm using the sponge applicator. And I'm going to do, let's see, I did three coats on the entire dresser, I believe so. Yes, three coats. Um, the sponge applicator leaves a very thin coat or very thin layer coat. So I did three and it's just so easy with this sponge applicator. I don't believe these are um, available any longer. I've, I've noticed that they're not available on Amazon, but I have linked in my Amazon store um, ones that are very similar. They're red. And um, I will be giving those a try here in the next few projects um, because these ones that I've been using now for a while, I need to just change. All right, so now I am just measuring the top so that I can get the lumber cut. I am using one by fours. And um, anyways, I am cutting the little tiny end of it to make sure that the, the end cut is nice and straight. And a fresh cut because you will be see you will be able to see them after planking the top of the dresser so i am going to cut four of this um, lumber this size the width and the length and then i have to cut a thinner uh, one by two um, in the same length because um, the dresser needed it so I'm giving everything a good sand. Um, some of the boards had like like uh, some sort of writing on it. So if I just sanded it down to make sure that one, the finish of the um, stain goes on really good. And also just to clean the boards up and make sure they're nice and smooth and no writing or no anything on it. I'm going to be using, oh, I used a 220 grit sandpaper with my palm sander. And then, of course, making sure that I dust it. The stain that I'm using is the Varathane stain in the Golden Oak. And I'm going to give it just one coat. All right, I let them dry and it doesn't take long when they're outside. So I'm just placing them on top of the dresser. And as you can see, if you see way back there, you can see there's a little uh, a, a gap in the back. That's where I had to cut the one by two and stain it. Um, so anyways, I am attaching them with my brat nailer and um, that's it. I'm just doing a couple on each end. I'm going to put or place the handles back on them freshly spray painted and they look beautiful and then i'm going to remove the contact paper they had inside the drawers the drawers were actually in really good shape so i didn't have a need to place new uh, contact paper and then that'll be it here's what the dresser looked like before and then here's what it looks like now i think it's so beautiful so fresh looking i i feel like it has like a very neutral tone and it sounds weird because I know it's it's a blue um, and normally neutrals are you know like the beiges and the whites but for some reason I feel like it's very soft and I really love this color I'm glad I got it and I foresee myself doing a lot more projects with it all right guys thank you so much for watching this is it for today thank you for tuning in thank you for watching till the end I hope this inspires you a little bit I hope you're staying safe and that everyone in your family and yourself are healthy and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, as always, I invite you to do so. Have a blessed day.